It is currently 3.31 p.m. on February 9th, 2022. As you all probably know, and definitely know by the time this is going up, the next Nintendo Direct is airing in an hour and a half. And I just thought that for a while I would sit here and talk my mouth off for a few minutes, and then put this with my reactions to the video once that actually happens. Uh... I haven't uploaded Legends Arceus at this time because I've been in a slump. I had a whole schedule ready and planned for the get-go and never got to it because just as I was about to start this schedule, I had gotten my diagnosis from my local clinic that I was indeed actually sick. Nothing major, just a slight nasal infection, a little bit of swelling and it should be better in the next week. But it really put a damper on things for a while, left me drained for a good few days. I'm probably gonna put that aside and just upload it when it's ready. It should be by the end of the week, if not the end of next week, for sure. But I thought in the meanwhile, I'd compensate with something new. And what better way to compensate than with some live reactions to a brand new Nintendo Direct launching tonight? But before I go in, I thought I would talk about all the usual speculation and all that bleh. So what do I want in Nintendo Direct February 9th, 2022? Well, before I start talking about what I want, let's talk about what I expect. Because let's talk more logically here. We aren't going to get everything we want and all that. So I'm just going to talk about what I see as most likely. Then I'll talk about some stuff on my wish list. So first on the expected list... I am expecting a release date for Splatoon 3 and Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. Both of the games are slated for spring, and, well, spring's in a couple weeks. Thanks to Groundhog seeing a shadow, we've got maybe like six more. But it's approaching rapidly, and we kind of need to know a date so we can put our money down. At least so I can put my money down. I'm gladly pre-ordering Splatoon 3 and Advance Wars. Uh... Another thing I expect would be more info on Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Game releases in a month. Obviously, you should be expecting some more on that. I think it's a bit of a given that we're going to get Kirby news this time around. Almost a guarantee, if anything. I'm also expecting something related to Mario. Although, at this time, I have no idea what. I'll get to that on my wish list segment of this video. And the last thing I expect, this is a very small chance, like a 10%. I think there is a very small chance, very, very small, but very still existing chance that we might get a little bit of an update on Breath of the Wild 2. Now, if this is for like the first half of the year, so I'm not expecting it. This has definitely got to be a holiday title or a late year, early next year game at the most. But I'm not expecting to see it, but I will gladly welcome it, and I'm excited for it when it eventually comes out. I will definitely play it. Now for the stuff I wish to see. Stuff that's probably not going to happen, but man, it would feel so good. First thing on my list is Mario Kart 9, because God, please, it has been years. And I love Mario Kart Tour. I have almost got all the characters in Mario Kart Tour. But I want to play it on the console. Mario Kart Tour has given us one of the best Mario Kart rosters ever. And it's just so bittersweet that all of these long-awaited characters, returning and new, are just sidelined on the spin-off mobile game, which people are saying that Nintendo's seeing as their Mario Kart 9. Which I feel would be kind of a bad move regardless, because then for the next Mario Kart, you'd have to incorporate some of the tracks. And as cool as the new tracks in Mario Kart Tour are, I feel like you'd have to, I don't know, incorporate the different versions and put them all into one big track. Because on their own, I hate to say it, some of the tracks are bland in layout. Most of them are like a circle with extra steps. I mean, sure, that's like every track in video games combined. But... There's... Tokyo Blur, specifically, is one of the most uninteresting tracks to race on. I've mostly just gotten bored of the game. I'd like to see something new. I don't care about any new features. I just want to see a console Mario Kart game that looks as good as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and features a bunch of the characters from the cast that we have in Tour. 
that would be very fun to me. And maybe some more new tracks would spice things up a little bit more. Next thing I would like to see is some potential DLC for Mario Party Superstars. The game was a smash hit, let's be honest. Everyone I know loved this game the moment it released. It even got nominated for an award in the Game Awards last year. Very quickly, might I add. I just feel like it's already gotten a little bit dry, though. Playing it with friends is a great time. But just five boards, that's not really a lot to work with. I feel like it would be good if they added at least one or two more. I'm thinking Bowserland and maybe another one from Mario Party 3. I don't really care which one from Mario Party 3. <laughs> I love all the boards <clears throat> from Mario Party 3. Sorry, I had a bit of a cough there. But I just think that Mario Party 3 got the short end of the stick, especially after I finally started playing Mario Party 3 a couple of months ago and had an absolute blast with it. It's probably one of my favorites of the classic Mario Parties. As for Mario Party 1, I, I think it's kind of fine on its own. And the third thing on my wish list would be a new Donkey Kong. I would just love to get back into the series, but I don't know. I, I Every time I get started, I just kind of lack the push I need. And I just feel like a new one would be a nice way to get back into the loop. I, I'm not asking for too much with a new Donkey Kong. <coughs> just one I can play and maybe have a good time on. That's fine enough for me. This one is way more wishful thinking and probably is not going to happen here. But I would love to get an update on the console port for Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. There's been a lot of rumors going around at this time about a new collection for Switch and PlayStation 4, the Midnight Channel collection, which not only adds the aforementioned port of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, but also a console port of Persona 4 Golden, which I really hope is true, because if not, I kind of see no reason why the game shouldn't be up for pre-order on consoles yet. It's only available to pre-order on Steam, and it just so happens that there already is a Midnight Channel collection on there. It would just be nice to finally, finally play this game on an actual console instead of a handheld or a computer. Which, playing it on a handheld and a computer is fine, but I would love to play this on a real big TV screen. It would be fun. And the last thing on my wish list is probably not going to happen as well. Everything on my wish list is probably not going to happen. I would like to know if they have any more information on Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Dread gave me the much-needed boost, and I finally started playing the Metroid games. I beat Zero Mission. I'm a good chunk through Samus Returns. And I've got Metroid... Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion on standby, and I've already almost beaten my run-through of Dread. I love this series, and I really, really want to keep playing Metroid. I'm not expecting any huge news on it today. That would just be setting myself up for disappointment. But I'd probably be screaming my lungs off in the live feed that y'all are about to see soon, once, <laughs> if it does happen. If it does happen. That's about all that comes to mind. Oh, Switch Online! I almost forgot! Uh, I would not mind seeing any new content for Switch Online. I'm aware that last month we got the long-awaited Banjo-Kazooie, which I'm already having a blast with, and it's already given me the resolve I needed to continue playing the game for the first time in years. 100%ed Mumbo's Mountain. 100%ed Treasure Trove Cove, I'm finally making progress on it. I know those are like the first two, and that's like a beginner level thing, but eh, I'm still working on it. I wouldn't mind seeing more for the NES, SNES, and Genesis, though. I'm shocked that the Genesis, of all the Switch Online things, has not gotten anything new at it yet. I thought that was going to be an obvious no-brainer, but I, I guess not. I guess that wasn't going to happen. I, I would take literally anything 
<laughs> Which is funny, because we already have Genesis collections. We already have literally everything. There's not really much else to want here. NES? Eh, I think NES is done. I can't really see anything else with NES. And SNES, everyone's bringing up Earthbound, Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger. I'd be fine with any of these. Really, any big-name title that hasn't yet been added would be a great addition. As for N64, going back to that, it's a little bit too soon. I know we're getting Majora's Mask sometime this month, if I remember correctly. I'd like it if they revealed what the March game would be, although I understand why they wouldn't, because they only just revealed Majora's Mask a couple weeks ago, back when Banjo-Kazooie first launched. They're probably going to save that announcement for when Majora's Mask does launch on Nintendo 64 Online. But I think it would be all appropriate if the next N64 game added was Kirby 64 the Crystal Shards. That was on the list of upcoming games, and that was one of the ones I've wanted to play for the longest time. I really want to play that one, but it's so hard to find a legal copy, and my Wii U is slowly dying out. The fact that it can play Wii games better than my Wii, though, is kind of helping it, honestly. Uh, but yeah, any anything probably, probably going to say Kirby 64 is my next wanted N64 title. Maybe one of the OG Mario parties. That one's probably never going to happen, but that would be so good, and they would be sitting on a pile of gold if they just went for it. But that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. But I think for now, I've run out of ideas, I've run out of wish lists, and I've run out of things to say. So, uh, when it starts, I'm going to put the live recording on, See my reactions, and I'm just going to hit upload, and we're just going to have a good old time. So, let's let's have a good one with this. Let's have some fun. Our first Smashless Direct in, in almost four years. It feels so relieving to not be flooded with, what if this character was in Smash? I'm kind of glad that it's all over. <laughs> Uh, but that's a discussion for another time. I'll see y'all next time. Let's get to the live reactions. It is currently 4.50. We are 10 minutes away from the big direct. I've got my microphone. I accidentally grabbed a Sprite instead of a Mountain Dew, but I guess I'll have to make this one work. I did not realize that we were out of Mountain Dew, and I just grabbed a bottle blindly, rushing to get ready for the recording. That is okay. I can live with it for tonight. Uh, I have already stated my wishes in a little recording I made about an hour before now, and I've kind of just been waiting ever since, and, uh, yeah. It took me about 30 minutes <laughs> to figure out how to get OBS to work with this. I had to restart my whole computer. <laughs> And I had to deal with the slowest login I have ever experienced. And now I have ten minutes to nine minutes to kill because I don't I didn't really come up with any conversation. So in the meanwhile, while it's starting, I wanted to bring up a couple more things that I didn't mention in the pre-recording that I'm expecting or wishing for. One thing I forgot to mention I was expecting was something related to uh, Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. I completely forgot that that was coming out this year and forgot to mention it altogether. Another thing I forgot is one that I saw on Twitter after making the pre-recording. I completely forgot that there is a chance, it's small, but there's a chance that we might see something related to the Mario movie. I might have to cut some bits out due to copyright reasons, but I have no idea at all what's going to happen. Another thing on my wish list that I also forgot about, there was a Pac-Man Museum coming out sometime early this year. Pac-Man Museum Plus. I don't know if it was Switch exclusive or not, but I would love to see a release date on that because that looks like a genuinely good uh, collection. It actually looks worth it. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, it's for all consoles, never mind. But, uh... I just looked it up to see. 
No face cam for this one. I don't have that ready. I probably won't for a while, honestly. I bet you by the time I do have it ready, the next... E3 is probably going to be rolling around by then. Uh, another thing to mention for rumors and speculation. A lot of speculation has been going around about Earthbound. I am... I am completely... Uh, what's the word? Neutral. If we get any announcement to it, cool. <laughs> Cool, I'll celebrate that, but uh, I'm, it's not something I'm going and expecting. Whether or not I'll freak out about it, who knows? <laughs> I don't think I will ever freak out as hard as I did back in 2019 when Banjo and Kazooie were revealed for Smash. That was the loudest I have ever been when excited for a Nintendo Direct. So, how this one's going to go? <laughs> no clue. I'm just roping in my last minute things on my phone just trying to kill the time doing a sudoku puzzle because i'm i got nothing else to do while waiting for this to start uh so what are games i'm excited for might as well think of those while we're waiting for this show to start um i'm excited for splatoon I, at first i thought eh, it might be kind of too soon for a new splatoon game Especially two on the same console. A lot of people are saying that we shouldn't get a new Mario Kart because we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yet people were fine with uh, Splatoon 3 and 2 on the same thing. But honestly, now now I'm really excited for it. I think I was just kind of overreacting then. But I'm really excited. I'm going to pick it up day one. I'm definitely going to give it a play. If there's a global test fire, I might stream it. Who knows? Uh... I was interested in Advance Wars the moment it was announced, but then they delayed it. The eShop is still listing that it's releasing April 8th, so I have no idea what the release date is going to be. I'm definitely excited for Kirby. I've already pre-ordered my copy of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. So you can expect a, a recording or let's play of that sometime down the road. I wish I could get Legends Arceus Part 1 out faster, but I want to make it as good as I can. And that's kind of taking a bit of time, unfortunately. I'm not fast, but I'll make it good. I'll make it worth the wait, I promise. Uh, what else did I mention? Mario plus Rabbids. We don't have that much gameplay, so I can't really say much on that one yet. Maybe if we get more gameplay here, I can weigh my thoughts in. Uh, that's all I can think of. Breath of the Wild 2 looks cool, but I don't think that's going to be in this one. I'd love to be wrong, though. Any chance for it to say, you are wrong, I will gladly accept with open arms. Because I probably will be wrong, in which I will accept it. I haven't opened my <laughs> aforementioned sprite because I'm waiting for it to start before I start <laughs> before I start drinking it. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a spit take live on camera. Probably not. I've never done one of those, but you you never know. Uh, we still have four minutes left. I have way too much time to kill. Any other wishes? Um, I don't know. Something cool. Something surprising. Bring back an old franchise. Why not? <laughs> this is never going to happen in a million years. I'd love to see a new Punch-Out based off of the Wii one. That one was one of my favorite games on the console. Would love to see that come back in some way, shape, or form. Don't know how. Don't care how. I would just want to see it. <laughs> Online multiplayer. Oh, man. Tournaments would be fun. Would be a fun overall experience. Sitting on Sitting on money. Uh, that only took one minute. I'm very bad at killing time. Which is another reason why I have not <laughs> recorded much. I never said that in my update video. <laughs> I am very bad at filling time. When I have to fill a certain amount of time, I kind of just stall. 
I, well, I mean, that's kind of how you feel for time, but I kind of just say random nonsense that's probably going to get edited out of the video later on. <laughs> and when I'm on the spot, sometimes I'll feel like something in my throat. I'll feel like a little throat gurgle, whatever those are called. Like a little, you know. It hits you at random. It hits you like a truck. I'm going to open up my drink. I'm hoping that I clicked the record button on time. I did. Let's go. I just checked by the minute. Two minutes left. Uh, so final two minutes. Uh, any other things to mention? Oh, yeah. This isn't going to distract me from the whole Gilva Sunner debacle. If they announce anything related to music, one, I'll be convinced that they purely did it. It just in light of that controversy just to shut people up I'll still probably go for it because I've got to preserve the music somehow and they aren't doing it the right way it's making it harder and harder to be a Nintendo fan but I still get by because I just want to play the games and have fun I'm not one of those big diehard fans but I'm not really a casual either. I don't know. I, I kind of don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, got one minute left. If it weren't, you know, the aforementioned copyright issues, I would have played the Splatoon thing. The one more minute. Da, 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 I'm not gonna. Uh, so, yeah, in this last minute, I'm just gonna say whatever we get, this is gonna be real fun. I'm going to be as optimistic as I can, but I'm also going to be as cautious as I can. I'm not going to go in saying, oh, next is totally going to be this game. No. Whatever happens is going to happen, and I'm going to be happy no matter what we get. Because this is this is an exciting day. This is the first Direct in, of the year. The first Direct post-Smash Ultimate. I'm excited to see what we have in store. And we have like 10 seconds. Oh, no, we're starting now. Never mind. <laughs> okay. All right, we're starting it. That's right, because they have to mention the thing. Yeah, I forgot all about that. All right, Nintendo Direct. Let's see what we got this time. I am silencing my phone as we speak. And let's go. What is our first big reveal? It's Fire Emblem. <laughs> cool. Three houses is cool. Yeah, that's Fire Emblem. Warriors 3. Ooh! Fire Emblem Warriors 2. The cycle of this world. Cool! Not allow it to perish with you. Three Houses is probably my favorite Fire Emblem, so I am okay with this. Ooh! Look at how much that's going to lag my Switch. <laughs> if the kingdom is ever to part ways with our bloody past. Oh, this looks cool. I'm not that great with Warriors games, though. I've played Persona 5 Strikers, and I've played Hyrule Warriors, original and Age of Calamity. I'm never good at finishing these kinds of games, but I'll try. I'll definitely try. This looks good. The visuals look much better. I like the lighting. Now where's Byleth? Where's... Where's Byleth? Where is Byleth? I want to see if they fix the weird in-between-the-eyes thing with it from before. Oh, Sothis! I forgot about Sothis for a second. <laughs> hey, there's Byleth! Did they... Oh, hey, they fixed... <laughs> they fixed her face! June 24th! Okay! Excited! That looks really cool. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. All right. Cool start. The trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes game. It's June 24th. I'm setting the calendar. To a different story set in the same universe as Fire. That's gonna be a pre-order. 
Let's see the first All right. Headlines. This is where the stuff gets interesting. What do we got? What's our first headline? Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, Advance Wars. We got more intel on the Advance Wars 1 plus 2. I knew it. In the first campaign, Advance I was Wars, correct. You advise a colorful cast of commanding officers and use their abilities in vibrant turn. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely playing this. Is now voiced, bringing Ooh. even more charm to these characters. You're gonna get hurt. I see right through your plans. Another voice acting is pretty good. Waits in Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. Yeah, and the sequel. And more diverse terrain can be leveraged for additional I am definitely recording this one on the channel once it comes out. I've had this one planned for a while, but then the delay kind of... Oh, good. Oh, boy. You can cheat. <laughs> Ooh, this looks cool. Ooh, there's multiplayer. Cool. Ooh. Multiplayer. Yeah, I, I gotta play this. I knew it! April 8th! This has gotta be like the worst kept secret in a while. Yeah, pre-orders have been available for a while. What is this? Oh! No Man's Sky! Each orbited by this is a port, yeah? Travel to planets I think. In this infinite, generated universe. I don't know much about this game, so I can't really say much of my opinions. I kind of have no, uh, nothing to say. This looks really cool, though. In this living and breathing universe. Trade convoys travel between I don't know why, though. I have a feeling that this is going to be a cloud game. Hunt Feel free to shock me by saying it's not, though. Ever Kingdom Hearts is. Maybe Gardens of the Galaxy was. And have consequences. Traitor. Seems like all the big games getting ported to Switch are becoming cloud versions. It wouldn't really surprise me that much. Oh, okay. No cloud version. Cool. What else we got? What is this? <gasps> Mario Sports? Mario... Mario Strikers? Is this Mario... Oh my god, it's Mario Strikers! Yeah! Let's go! I've been wanting a new Strikers for years! <laughs> yeah, let's go! This this is exciting. <laughs> I I said ooh. I was expecting a new Mario. I was not expecting a new Mario Strikers. Mario Strikers. <laughs> Battle League. This looks so good. Like soccer. That's way heavy on offense. Aim for goals. Ooh. This, this looks like really good. Oh, this is so good. Woohoo! Oh, this is the this is the kind of sports game I want on Switch. Mayhem! This is what I want. First, the gear you equip. It changes not only your appearance, but also your stats like speed, strength, and pass accuracy. Ooh. That actually looks pretty cool. Second, the hyper strike. Ah, the gimmick. To activate this shot, oh. orb when it appears on the field. Orb. Oh. Charge it while your opponents are distracted. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. I love the visuals. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for this. Hit me with a release date. Hit me with a release date. I'm so ready. Not the best roster, but honestly, no. For this, this is a good roster. Ooh. Club mode. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. The big club thing. Mushroom Hill? Wait. <laughs> Club 
This looks so good. I'm so ready. With items. Tackles. I am so ready for a release date. This is not something I was expecting at all. June 10th! Let's go! Let's go! Day one pre-order. The latest iteration of the Mario Strikers series is coming to Nintendo Switch. We hope you're excited for this anything goes- I am so ready! Next, please take a look at this. Alright, what's the next big thing? What do we got? This is, a. Uh... It's Splatoon! Yep. Splatoon 3 time. I knew it. This looks really good. I I can't wait for this, honestly. Ah, uh, here we go. It's the Salmon Run. Kind of. This was Salmon Run, right? I'm very uncultured with Splatoon. It's been a long time for me. Huh? Huh? What is that? <laughs> what is this? Ooh! Oh, it's a boss! I knew something was missing from this! This looks cool. So, Salmon Run has boss fights. Cool! This is something I'm probably gonna play with friends. Expect a recording of this. Expect more recordings of the multiplayer than the story mode. Throw. Oh! So you can just pass it to a teammate. Yeah, this is this is what I Oh you could just dunk it! <laughs> oh tank! This this is cool looking. Can't wait to play this. I'm giving this a go. I love the first Splatoon, and I didn't play as much of Splatoon 2, but from what I played, I also enjoyed. Oh, it's getting all glitchy. This is where we're getting to... Yeah, the more info on the story, right? Or is this another boss? Or... I don't know what this is. Yeah, Salmon Run... Next Wave. Cool! I'm shocked we still haven't gotten a release date for Splatoon 3. For the mode in the Splatoon 3 game, the next wave of that looks cool. I love that art. One that's never been seen before was also spotted at the end of the trailer. Will the Inklings and Octolings ink or swim? I'll play this. Summer. They moved it to summer. Let's move on to Eh, they moved it to summer. Up oh, more headlines. At the ready. I don't know what this is. What is this? Something about this looks familiar, like I should know it, but I'm not very cultured. This is a. Uh... Wait. Is this. Never mind. Okay, yeah, no, I don't know what this is. Oh, another Forever Entertainment remake, though. Wonder if we're getting word on House of the Dead remake. That was supposed to come out this year, I think. This looks pretty sick, though. Okay. Alright, this looks pretty cool. If Forever Entertainment ever comes out with a Burning Rangers remake, I will love them forever. On Nintendo Switch this summer. And in another the future, the summer. Front mission to wow! Will also launch Neat! Nintendo Switch. Get set for a high oh, I got so excited. Wait, what is this? From the creators of the Asphalt series comes Rip Roaring. What? <laughs> Disney. Disney. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's your Mario Kart. <laughs> 
each one's special abilities to battle for victory across the finish line. Choose Mickey Mouse for symphonic oh my god Sully for monstrous power, or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Okay, but each also possesses powerful ultimate skills. Any characters from the more recent films? Disney Speedstorm Any... is a free-to-play game with oh, more seasons boy. added regularly. Oh, it's one of those games. Disney okay. XR characters, circuits, carts, and more. Donald! <laughs> Plus, enjoy cross-platform play as well as split-screen and online multiplayer modes. Disney Speedstorm Donald! Donald! <laughs> <Nintendo Switch this summer. laughs> okay, that was a bit of an oddball one. Dive into classic classic franchises on Nintendo Switch. All right, what do we got? Unleash the power oh yeah, of the this game! Classic Star Wars action adventure. Force Unleashed. Secret Apprentice. You'll use devastating force powers and light. I, I kind of forgot about this. Hunt down Jedi masters on iconic planets. Upgrade abilities like force. Grip, this is gonna be cool. I never. I I was not that cultured. I was very sheltered child. I did not get to play the original. I didn't get to play a game until Pokemon Platinum came out. <laughs> I got a lot of catching up to do. Is the galaxy's most powerful Jedi. I'll probably give this one a shot. Unleashed launches on Nintendo Switch April 20th. April 20th. Okay. Cool. I might go for it. Yeah, I, I think this one was announced recently or leaked. Critically acclaimed Assassin's Creed games. Uh, pre-orders begin stream today. Died. Oh wait. Oh. Yep, the stream kind of Complete went poof. That was weird. That was weird. What happened there? <laughs> nah, I'll just cut that out of recording. Interact with historical figures. Looks pretty good though. Discover secrets of the creed across three games, two bonus short films, and DLC. Assassin's Creed wasn't really my thing before. I bet it's a cloud version. What do you want to bet? Or you have to download it. Oh, never mind. They went all in. <laughs> okay. February. Oh. Okay. Also not my biggest thing, but looks pretty neat. Enhance each suit with parts to improve their power. You can also battle alongside friends and uh i think the biggest reveal for me so far was the strikers i'm sorry uh this looks cool though what else we got two worlds cross in the triumphant return of this rpg classic rpg classic wait a remaster is... of the acclaimed rpg Ooh! Is coming to the nintendo switch system one fateful day the protagonist that's cool wanders into an alternate world Though it I thought for a moment it was Chrono Trigger. <laughs> I wonder if that one's ever going to get a port. This looks really good, though. Okay. Vibe with the one that looks like Riala from Knights. <laughs> oh, this is a full-on remaster. Okay, I thought this was a port. That's even better. I love a good remaster if they do it good. Ooh! Okay, that's good. That's actually really neat. <laughs> April 7th. Okay. I might get that, actually. Yeah. I might actually go for that, I'm not gonna lie. Oh boy, cut, we go. Yep, it's Kirby time. Kirby time! Yeah, we get to learn more about Kirby. Shocking absence of DDD and Meta Knight in this game is my only complaint so far. I also want to know what those things are called. I love them already. Let's go, Kirby. And the car? <laughs> Eat the car! <laughs> Yummy car. What? Kirby's a car. <laughs> Is that a mechanic? Or was that just a little funny? God, this game looks really good. I hope it's not too short or too easy. This game looks fantastic. 
To rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, Kirby sets off on a new adventure. I cannot wait to play this. Oh, it looks so good. It's a car! <laughs> a car to zoom around. It's a car! Vending machine! <laughs> Traffic! Oh, this is cool! Every time I think they've shown all they can, they just give us more for this game. This game is probably gonna win an award or something. Oh my God. <laughs> this is cool! This is gonna be so fun to play! With all those new abilities, there's probably going to be a ton of replay value. Oh, weapon shot! Copy abilities can be evolved. What? It's like Ratchet and Clank, except you gotta pay for what? That's so cool! What? Range of attacks. Ooh! Also change Kirby's appearance. That looks so cool! Powerful. Oh my god! Oh! Some copy abilities may have strong forms. I'm so sold. Our pink puffball. Oh my god, this looks so fantastic. Enemies trying to do. That was DDD. That's gotta have been DDD. God, this looks fantastic. The car. I can't take the car seriously. <laughs> I can't take that seriously. <laughs> so far, everything on my expected list has come true, except for the Splatoon 3 release date. Since they moved it to summer. More headlines. Let's go. Uh, Yeah, this was revealed the other day. No big surprise. Pretty neat. Not my thing, though. I'm definitely more on the Mario Strikers side. Uh, not, not big on the realistic sports games. Looks cool though, I'll admit. <laughs> I have a feeling that this music is copyrighted for some reason. I might have to cut this out. Uh, as long as it's well optimized, I guess it's good for the people who like it. If you know, if it plays properly, that's really the best I can say. Uh, yeah, April fifth. Knew all about that one. I knew you were a true two-way player, but this is ridiculous. Jeez. <laughs> Game collection. Oh boy, collections. What do we got? Yeah, we knew about this. I'm not getting this. I am not getting this. I'm not getting this. Not worth it. 90 bucks for a cloud version? Not worth it. I will pass. Uh, I will gladly play on PS5. <laughs> You know, because I already have, I already have all the games on PS5. All I need to do is get the Remind DLC. Yeah, I'm still not getting it. Clonoa is coming to Nintendo Switch across dreamy side-scrolling levels. Clonoa! Jump! Oh my God! While firing wind bullets to grab and throw enemies, use each level. Let's go! <laughs> also, Klonoa 2 is included. Yeah, now that's the collection I'm going for. Give me the release date. Yes. We're so glad Portal? Here. Come here often. Either way, you're in for a Portal? Portal? 
In these award-winning games, the portal gun is portal for switch. Imprisonment in a mysterious portal for switch. Create portals and <laughs> other areas to find cake. Uh, still unconfirmed. You can pass through portals, and so can cubes, lasers, and robots with unnerving Oh my god! I didn't expect portal. In local, online, and online multiplayer. And that part's no lie. Neither is the sentient robot. Oh my god. Every move. When this is cool. No date. <laughs> what else? A classic comes alive. Wait, that's a... Uh, that's... That looks familiar. What is that? That's a... Uh, this is... Lead... What? This is, uh... Oh! Cool! Ooh! Neat! <laughs> they really hit us with <laughs> Klonoa and then Portal, though. I'm- I'm- I'm so getting that Klonoa collection. But hey, this is really cool! It's finally coming to America! stories featuring different protagonists and time periods await. Neat. The order in which you tackle them is up to you. Prehistory. Might give this a try. Of age in a world without words. The West, <laughs> a wanderer with a bounty on his head fights for his life. There's different eras? Imperial China. A kung fu master searches for a worthy successor. All right. Twilight of Edo Japan. A shinobi undertakes an important secret mission. Present day, a martial artist strives for oh. the strongest there ever was. The near future, a youth with psychic powers takes a stand. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the future. Yeah, the built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space. See, that's what more the future for me. This looks pretty sick, though. In death. Huh. Live launches on Nintendo Switch that is pretty sweet. Pre -orders begin All right. On Nintendo e -shop. Looks worth it to me. What else? How was that? Next up is this. Oh boy. <gasps> Tennis. Something to. <gasps> oh my gosh! Nintendo Switch Sports. Switch Sports! Please take a look. <laughs> Here are the sports included in the Nintendo Switch Sports game. But if it doesn't have bowling, I'm out. It has bowling! I'm in! I'm so in. Rally by gently swinging the Joy-Con controller at the right time. <laughs> oh, this is what the Switch was missing. Ooh, nice strike. <laughs> nice throw. That's neat. Oh, a new one. Ooh. Still feels off in that it's not me's. This is cool. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic I missed plays. bowling. <laughs> Enjoy matches with Joy Con controllers. See, this is this is what I wanted. There, this is what I wanted in one to switch. By attaching a Joy Con controller to the leg strap accessory included with the physical version of the game. Oh boy. You can play shootout mode with its oh boy. Hands. Badminton. Way more Turn stuff. Where's boxing? Right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Unleash powerful smash shots to gain the upper hand. This looks fun. Volleyball. Ah, no Is boxing. Controller to serve? Well, I guess the other one's technically like the boxing of this game. I was never good at volleyball. <laughs> looks great, though. I'm so in. The game supports local play with family and friends on one Nintendo local. system. As well as online. Hey, there we go, online. Play against friends online. Yay! I'm so desperate for online multiplayer experiences. Try taking on this challenge. This is cool. How was that? Now what's the date? I'd like to show you some gameplay of one of the newly added sports. Volleyball. No. Okay. Hello there, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Kizu. Wow, Mr. Koizumi, I can see you're ready to play. Alright, we'll all play some volleyball online together with Mr. Koizumi. This is cool! Do you have your wrist strap ready? 
Yes, of course. <laughs> I was wondering when there was going to be, like, a section dedicated to gameplay. I wasn't expecting Wii Sports Switch, though. <laughs> this is real neat. Uh, he's like, wait, what? What are we doing? <laughs> These pros going up against Leo. We begin with Koizumi serving. <laughs> How will the opposing team react? Takahashi makes the block. <laughs> oh, I miss this so much. Koizumi saves it. A set up in the air, and here comes the spike. I gotta update my list of games after this is done airing and after I'm done <laughs> editing this. Didn't quite get it in time. Oh, wait, there is me's. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it, Takahashi sets it up, and Koizumi spikes, but it goes right toward the opponent. Oh my gosh. Now's their chance. They get the ball, and with the setup from Koizumi, Takahashi scores. That's cool. They got a point with that fierce spike. <laughs> Let's stop our match here. After all, we were in the middle of a presentation. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be leaving now. What's the release date? Okay. Hit me with it. Introduction to Nintendo Switch Sports. Hit me with it. The game launches April 29th. I'm so ready. We're planning a free update in the summer that allows you to play soccer matches with a Joy-Con controller and the leg strap accessory. You can use the accessory ah. to play shootout mode at launch. <laughs> I'm for, guess what I'm probably not going to use while playing this game. Second free update this fall that lets you enjoy Oh, golf. I I knew something was missing. <laughs> they killed off Mario Golf, so. Now, a request to everyone. Huh? To help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, we'll be having an online playtest before Ooh! The to evaluate various technical aspects. Cool. We definitely like to ask for your help with this. Ooh, that's like an online playtest. I can do that. Available for players with an active Nintendo Switch online membership. Ah. On well, oh, it's bowling. I'm in. Please visit the official Nintendo website for more details. I am so doing that. Thank you. What's next? We got like ten minutes. What's next? That's all I have for now about Nintendo Switch Sports. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's like one more slew of headlines. Yep. <laughs> one more slew of headlines. Let's see what we got. Oh! Taiko drum thing. Ta Taiko? Taiko? Taiko. Cool! Set in Omiko City. Oh, cool! For Taiko drums. You'll strive to become a Taiko master. Along with <laughs> brand new character. Well, didn't one of these games have like music from the old uh, Nintendo animes and shows, like the Pokemon series and the Kirby anime? Megalovania. Not all. An orchestral version of the main theme from The Legend of Zelda is included. That's 76 songs. Well, it was Sans. Take advantage of a practice mode to replace. Ooh, Zelda theme sounds nice. times as you'd like. New modes have also been added for everyone to enjoy. Put on a live concert with up to four players in Donchan Band. Or face off against each other in Great Drum Toy War. <laughs> this is cool. Never played these before, but I might try it. When's this? Uh, of course. Oh god, never mind. <laughs> I I have too many subscriptions and not clicking. What's new with these Oh boy, what do we got? What is new? What is new? The brand new tactical RPG game. Uh this is trying yeah, Project Triangle Strategy. Forgot about this one. Not too interested. Wish the name was better, but this looks cool. Your choices and conviction will determine their fate. As Lord of House Wolfort, I solemnly swear an oath by which all future lords shall be bound. I will never turn my back on the promise of a better world. This looks cool. A new demo playable to the end of Chapter 3 will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Oh! Save data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. At that point, why not just... More Cuphead. Hey, Cuphead! DLC, Cuphead! The delicious Cuphead! Here, you'll explore so excited for the Cuphead show. 
defeat a bevy of new bosses with wild personalities and even wilder attacks. <laughs> it be the cup. The, the chalice. chalice is a new playable character. <laughs> Take down fearsome foes with her double jumps, rolling dodges, and more. She has a double jump? Delicious last course, wallop what the? On to Nintendo Switch June 30th. Oh, that's neat! A free update is Ooh. coming to the Metroid Dread game. Metroid Dread? All it takes is one hit. Oh, <gasps> critical mode! This. Getting hit even once causes a game over. Oh my gosh, critical mode! Oh, dread mode. It's pretty much critical mode. And for players new to the Metroid series, oh? take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. Oh. <laughs> Are you a noob? Oh, today, cool. <laughs> All right. A second free update in April oh. will add a boss rush mode. Ooh. I do love a good boss rush. I love a good boss rush. Something oh, Earthbound! Switch. Earthbound? Oh my god! It made it! <laughs> Let's go, it made it! It actually made it. I, I was kind of joking. Let's go! I need to play this so badly. Now I can with ease. <laughs> Let's go! Now when is the question? That's the real question is when. <laughs> I want to see a release date. <laughs> Let's be real. If, if we had a Game Boy 1. Earthbound Beginnings! Let's go! That's cool! Ha! That's probably it though, but you know what? That's still pretty darn neat! Not expecting too much here on this one, but that is sick! Yay! Added to Nintendo Switch Online Later today. Yo, today! Let's go! That's awesome! Oh, Demon Slayer! Uh, that one... That one too. <laughs> Those games. These are like the later... The... And do not to forget! Now we wait for, uh... Uh, okay. Neat looking stuff. Man, I, I'm about to be playing some Earthbound tonight. <laughs> yeah, Demon Slayer. I need to watch this. I'm probably going to watch it sometime when I'm free. Definitely going to get started this month. No spoilers, please. <laughs> this is a... Oh, new Lego game. Let's go. Oh yeah, two point. I forgot about this game existing. I thought it was already out. No, I'm thinking of the hospital one. That's right. Two point hospital. That's right. Is that all the coming soon stuff? What did you think? I thought that was cool. Mario Kart fans. <gasps> Mario Kart. You have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game since its launch in Mario Kart. So, we've been working on remastering select courses from across the Mario Kart what? series. What? and we'll be releasing them as paid downloadable content. Please take a look at this trailer. Mario Kart DLC? <gasps> the, wow, they actually did get the tour tracks. I was kind of kidding. What? <laughs> Yo, Coconut Mo! I just had the realization, wait a minute. Paris Promenade? What? Will be coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now give us characters. <laughs> this is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. All right. You may okay. Some courses from past Mario Kart. Okay. Eight courses.
forces will be what over six ways. oh my god <laughs> they just doubled the game releasing by the end of 2023 courses such as coconut coconut mall yes i'm so ready chaco mountain, chaco mountain. and tokyo and to yeah i in the first way Oh my god! Play these courses locally and Yay! New reason to play the game! Sky Gardens! Toad Circuit? Okay! That's cool! The first way oh! The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course March 8th! 18th! Cool! Pre orders begin today on the cool. shop. You can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. With an Wait! Switch on oh, cool! Expansion pack membership, or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. Nice. But no new characters? How was that? I hope you're looking forward to the additional courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This next segment. Will All right. Be announcement. It's Breath of the Wild, Let's isn't it? It's Breath of the Wild. Oh. What is this? Fighting in order to live. Wait. And live this. Fight. This is a. Uh... What is this? That's the way of our world. This is a. Uh... Is this a new Xenoblade? Ionios. Is this a new Xenoblade? Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. To believe your Is this a new Xenoblade? I saw this coming. You are you're not enemies now. Fine for you. Is this a all that time you've got? You could try. try Is this a new Xenoblade? This looks so much like a Xenoblade game. They're not your friends anymore. They're his few. Oh ho, ho, ho. Sword match. Ooh. The man pierced by a great sword. This is a new Xenoblade! Oh my god! Is this Xenoblade 3? Whatever life is lost, I won't let you soldier it all alone. Is it? <laughs> it's Xenoblade 3! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Uroboros abhor this world. They must be erased without a trace. Oh my god! Yes! Another reason to get back to Xenoblade 2! Oh yeah, no, this is Xenoblade 3! Let's go! Xenoblade Chronicles... 3! Let's go! Oh, that's amazing! September. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. The story of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 ties together the futures of the worlds depicted in Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade yeah! Chronicles 3, and it will launch this September. I hope you'll look forward to it. That's all for today. I I you know what? This was a good day. Thank you for watching. This is a good day. Let's go. Nintendo with the W! I think the games I'm most excited for. That Mario Kart 8 Deluxe thing. Uh, Mario Strikers, Switch Sports. And Xenoblade 3. Oh my god. And you're about to catch me playing Earthbound tonight. Man, this was good. <laughs> and now it's probably going to be in my head all day. But I'm going to go ahead and get to editing. I hope you all enjoyed this one as much as I did. What are you all most excited for? Uh, let me know down below. Uh, well, I got to get to editing this now. So have a good one, y'all.